Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a great day. Um, so I saw this floating around and I thought it was a joke. Uh, I saw people talking about it and I uh, didn't quite understand what they were trying to say. So I'm making a video on it after this was uh, possibly one of the most requested things from me, uh, not only in the last 24 hours, but just in general. I'm going to go over everything and then I'm going to tell you what's actually happening. Now, I please stay with me on this because I think the cryptocurrency space has nearly completely lost its mind. Uh, for non it's, it's not even nonsensical reasons. I, I don't think people read and I don't think that they understand uh, very, in, very and this is not me being mean, very simple basic things. I think that people are so annoyed with other things happening in life that when they misread something else that they completely lose it for another topic. So once again, we're going to go over it and then I'm going to tell you exactly what's happening. Crypto Twitter lost its mind. With opposition to Ledger's latest firmware feature that will back up customers' seed phrases if they choose to opt in to a monthly subscription for custody services. For those of you who don't know, the idea of having a Ledger or a, a cold wallet, a storage wallet, is that you're able to put your cryptocurrency onto it however you please and place the wallet wherever you so wish. And when you do so, for those of you who do not have a ledger, I have five of them and will continue using them, is that you are given a phrase. It's usually a phrase of 12 words or 16 words, depends on which company or whatever uh, software that you're actually using. And you're told to write down that phrase. Uh, should you, uh, something happens to your wallet, you can still recover your coins through that phrase. It is, it's a seed phrase. That's kind of the, the idea. You will be able to get your money back. However, in many different cases, there are a lot of people who do lose these phrases. They may only write them down once. They may forget where they actually have their seed phrase. And I've told many of you before, maybe you don't remember, to write it in multiple different ways in different places, put some in a safe, put some somewhere else, wherever you are actually able to do so. So Ledger came up with an idea uh, that they would allow people, and I say this in the nicest way, uh, if you choose to, if you choose to, if you choose to, if you, I don't know if you need different inflections to hear this. If you choose to opt into this, you will pay a monthly fee and they will help you uh, actually split up your seed phrase into three different parts, uh, two of which will be given to, I believe, two other companies. And then I believe you will have control over the third one or another company will. The, the, the point of the matter is is that should you lose your own seed phrase and you're like, oh, fudge, I don't have my money anymore, you would be able to recover it from the three phrases that are then put together and therefore you would have your money. This is actually a very, very, very common thing in the world of high net worth individuals. The way that it works is a lot of our very wealthy families who we've been talking about for a number of years on this channel the way that it works is uh, basically you would give different family offices a fragment of your, your phrase or whatever the actual passcodes might be. And you would actually, if you want to in, in certain families, you would divvy it up in that one son gets it, one daughter gets it, and then the other grandparent gets it. So that at some point, if you're trying to access $450 million in this coin, you would need three people in a room to be able to unlock it. Fairly, fairly common when it comes to large amounts of money so that you simply don't have the son walking into the family office saying, I want half a billion dollars in Bitcoin, and then he completely runs away with it. So when I first saw this, I was like, oh, this actually makes sense because this is how larger family wealth offices actually function and work. So now and they're, they're bringing it to the masses, if you will, in that you would be able to do this as well uh, with Ledger if you wanted to do so. This is not mandatory. You are not being forced to do this. This is in no way, shape, or form going to change the money that you already have with Ledger. The amount of people I saw talking about that they were going, and I will not name names, that they were going to be buying other hardware storage wallets which have a history 
of being hacked into, I lurk around on Twitter because I, I want to see what people are talking about, what's the news, what's the haps, what's going on. And when I, once again, when I saw that this was going on, I thought people were joking. I was like, okay, uh, for those of you who, do, who don't know or don't remember, I am a Ledger affiliate. I do not work for Ledger, but I have an affiliate code in the, uh, you know, in, uh, the description box below, and I receive emails from Ledger saying, hey, we have a new promotion coming up. Hey, we have a new thing coming up. And I read the email, saw that this was coming out days ago, and I was like, oh, that actually sounds like a pretty cool thing. I'll talk about it when they actually have it uh, released. And then when it was released, everyone on crypto Twitter completely lost it because, and I saw who the accounts were. It's always the same. Underst when, whenever you, and I'll say this nicely, whenever you feel riled up, whenever you feel angry at some news that you just got on, on crypto Twitter or on crypto Reddit, uh, try to figure out who the original account was who made you feel that way. There's a very common um, theme of certain accounts taking information that would otherwise be completely normal and making sure that it ruins your day, makes you angry, makes you assume that something else is happening when actually something else is taking place. There are a lot of, there are a lot of YouTube channels who make sure that they terrify the ever-living crap out of you to make you believe that something is worse than it actually is. This is a monthly service for those who want it. Some of you... Some of you already have your coins on Coinbase. Some of you have your coins on Binance. Some of you have a password that's securing your cryptocurrencies as password and, and the year that you were born. Now, I know someone's heart just skipped a beat. Yes, I'm talking about you. The fact that they have an actual way to make sure if you want to and you are afraid of losing your seed phrase... You could opt into this if you want to. You are not being forced to. And they would help you make sure if you wanted to that there would be other companies who would hold a fragment of your seed phrase. And I saw people saying, well, that's crazy. Because what if what if information from those companies gets, gets leaked? And then what if, what, what if both companies get leaked? And all they need is, is, the, is the second portion of, of my phrase or the third portion. And then they take all of my cryptocurrencies. Some of you click on phishing emails. You know that everything you do on your phone is recorded? You care about the craziest things that don't actually... This, this does not pertain to you if you do not plan on signing up for this service. Think about that. I saw some people, and now, now I, 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 I get it. I understand people being afraid or scared of things like that. But the amount of people who were writing to me, I mean angrily on Twitter, that they couldn't wait to see how angry I was going to be or riled up I was going to be because, because Ledger has completely lost it. We need our freedom. You know that everything you do on your phone, everything you do on your computer is, is, is recorded and, and, and given to other companies, right? You know that everything you do on Facebook, everything you do, everything you do on Instagram is sold to other companies. I, 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 I don't understand how 99.99% of what you do is being stolen and used by other companies. But the idea that there is one company who's like, hey, we actually have a secure way for you to you know, secure your money. And the way that you want to do so, if you want an extra step of protection in case you actually happen to lose the passcode to all the money that you have on this device... If you choose to do so, and everyone's like, no, 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 this, this is, this is the step that's going too far. Ledger Recover was announced on the 16th of May, much to the shock of customers, thanks to a supposed turnaround on the company's so-called dedication to security. The firmware update will give wallet users the option, will give users the option to back up their seed phrase with three custodians, a feature meant as a safeguard should any loser use their private keys if they choose to do so. Give them the option. The hardware wallet maker clarified after heavy community backlash that the seed phrase sent to the custodians is generated. As an additional private key of sorts, a Twitter thread was released explaining the mechanism Although the post seemed to have raised more questions and answers. Nope, they, they answered everything. 
I went on to Twitter and they, yep, yeah, for, for those of you not looking at the screen, they made sure that there's a literal video that they put out explaining every single little bit of everything. This is if you want it, if you want to use this. And I and listen, and I know someone just rolled their eyes. Why is TMI saying that over and over and over? Because I want to, I, I want it to be explicitly clear that this will not affect you unless you want it to. They went on to give deep information to explain everything that's going on. So, um, I feel like I don't have to read anymore. I, I think we've gotten to the point. Um, I was quite disappointed once again uh, in high figure crypto community, uh, and I dare dare not even use the phrase leaders anymore, who were coming out in opposition of this, talking about they didn't understand why Ledger would be doing a thing like this. How dare you try to uh, fleece or scam the people who are using your product? Uh, first of all, um, I would assume I I do not I am not a worker for Ledger. I do not work in their offices, but I would assume that. They have probably been working on this for a year. When it comes to cryptocurrency companies, and I, I think Ledger is also a European company, they have a, a gigantic vetting process that makes sure that the companies who are actually going to be custodying anything, that they are not only well-known, but they've been around for a while, and they have all the proper safeguards. So I would even go as far to say they probably have been testing this for at least a year. I would give them a good six months plus. To make sure that there are constant safeguards before they decide as the largest hardware wallet manufacturer that we have on this planet. Yes, for those of you who didn't know, Ledger's the largest one. I assume that they went through a tough vetting process to make sure that the companies who they chose were actually good enough. And have been making sure that there are safeguards so that these private keys tied to you. Because if, you, if you're doing this, you would have to use a form of ID, which I saw a lot of people were also confused about as well. You know when you use Coinbase and Binance and Kraken and Gemini, you've already given the government information that you already own crypto. They know that it's you. I told you that before. When you are linking your PayPal account to your MetaMask, when you when, when yeah, remember last week when you linked your Mastercard and your Visa to your MetaMask? Do you think the government just doesn't see all the information tied together that it's actually you as well? I'm I'm not understanding how how logic works anymore. Maybe it's left the building. I because I assume it's just not here anymore. And therefore, I would assume that, and I would go out on a limb to say that this, this thing that Ledger has launched is probably extremely safe. And even more so, I, you know, I would assume that three parties having different fragments of a seed phrase is a lot better than you having it written on a piece of paper that's under your mattress, that's in an old shoe in your closet, that's inside of a drawer next to your socks. No? Okay, and then also the fact that you are not forced to use this uh, and a number of um, high um, profile uh, cryptocurrency uh, people came forward uh, discussing how, you know, this is this is absolutely egregious. What, what am I missing? Someone, someone, I mean, t tell me because I've I've been reading uh, since yesterday to make sure that I have all the information. I've read through everything. There is not one portion of this that is mandatory. You can, and I myself will. I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm going to continue using my ledgers as I have already done so in the past. I myself personally do not feel the need for this service, but we've gone over that before as well. There are many people in crypto who don't understand that they could or should, my opinion, be self-custodying. So these people choose to use Gemini or Kraken or Coinbase because this is what they choose to do. They have chosen in their lives to not self-custody, so they have given their information to cryptocurrency exchanges because they wanted to do so. You can, and I will, continue using my ledger without using Ledger Recover. It doesn't seem necessary for, you know, the current 
portion of my life where I currently am. So tons of people have announced that they're, you know, they're leaving Ledger and, you know, this is this is crazy. I can't believe that they you're you're not being forced to do this. Stop acting like every single thing that's meant to actually or that could help you in some sort of way is bad. And you want to know the most ironic part, and then we're going to end the video here. The most ironic part, and I and I hope that this does not happen to you, but mathematically, it is going to happen to someone. The craziest part of all of this is a portion of the people who are actually complaining and screaming about this thing, about Ledger on Twitter, on Reddit, online... They're going to lose their seed phrase at some point. Mathematically, we can assume that half of 1% of one of these people is going to lose their seed phrase. And Ledger Recover would have actually helped them in this case. You understand what I'm saying? So, once again, I hope that does not happen to you. Make sure you have your seed phrase in multiple places if you are able to do so as a literal backup However, for those of you out there who are terrified of the idea of keeping your entire one Bitcoin uh, on a ledger and you are afraid of losing your passkey, ledger recover is probably for you. I've also said before, don't feel uh, roped in or reeled into anything. If you feel in your heart of hearts that you cannot self-custody your whole Bitcoin, your half of a Bitcoin, the 15 Ether that you have, put them on a cryptocurrency exchange. Put them on multiple cryptocurrency exchanges. Put them on multiple ledgers. I've told, I have a lot of friends who are into crypto and I advise them quite often. If you have X amount of crypto, do you want that one ledger to disappear? Or would you feel safer having it on five? This is why I have multiple ledgers all over the place to make sure that in the event that something terrible happens and I happen to lose two of them, I have my other ones. I still have extra money. So, uh, I believe that's going to do it for this video. I think I've made my point. If you are skeptical about um, Ledger Recover, don't use Ledger Recover. Just keep using your Ledger. There's no, And I know someone panicked out there and you took your money off of your Ledger because someone else lied to you last night that Ledger was activating a new something on your device that was going to take your money. You still have control. It's still your device. No one's taking anything, and you do not have to use this new service. You know that there are other things that are like are actually taking place in crypto that we should all be focused on as a community, like the SEC, what they just did a day and a half ago, where they keep on refusing to actually uh, give proper cryptocurrency regulations. Like for those of you who missed it, Gary Gensler said uh, there's already cryptocurrency regulations, and he's going to continue using um, brazen action and enforcement as opposed to giving actual regulation. I assume that that would have been the largest cryptocurrency story because, you know, lies and corruption as opposed to this company is trying to make sure. Okay, that's the um, Ledger Recover News. I will continue using Ledger. I like them as a company. I like their transparency. And also, um, there are other uh, hardware cold storage devices uh, that have a history of being hacked into. And I will not be using those companies. I will myself continue to be using Ledger. I sincerely hope that you all got something from this video. I hope that you all enjoy. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening. Wherever you are, wherever you might be, I sincerely do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all, every single one of you, for watching listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting. And I'm even going to say thank you to everyone who left a dislike the moment they clicked on this video because you didn't hear what you wanted to hear. You wanted to hear that Ledger had done something egregious when all they've been trying to do is actually help you. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.